know I see it. I, and I just want to do it publicly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that happened. I, I, I can publicly say it. Nagtelos ako because I felt Noy chose you over me. Okay, but I hope we can let bygones be bygones. Because baka ho hindi nyo alam, mommy niya, Nina ko sabi niya. And she was really so good to me. Tell me ng Judy, I'm also sorry. Nope. Friends na tayo? Pero yung good na kaibigan mo, hindi ka ma-friend ah. Okay, love you. Okay, so that's for Noy. I, I was told to not give many details. Actually, I was told to say, sabihin mo na lang hindi sumipot dahil nandito ka. <laughs> but I want you to know the truth. And with me, you get the truth. Yes. Always, so, always right? Yeah. So, he's not okay. I am not at liberty to say what what's wrong with him because that's up to him. But kinabahan ako kagabi because I was wearing a bracelet. I was not moving. Sumabog yung bracelet. So um, these three years have been tough on him. I'm sure Dad will forgive me. If I make this about Noy, hindi dapat kinukrucify ang naging mabuting tao. Baka sasabihan na naman ako, bakit hindi mo pinagtanggol ang kapatid mo? Simple lang yan. Kung pinagtanggol ko siya, ano ang ibe-blame? Tinanggalan ko ng bayag ang kapatid ko dahil babae ako at mas bata ako. Sinabihan din ako, do not ever speak on my behalf. So I obeyed. But now I am speaking on his behalf because he's not here and he cannot stop me. <laughs> he was a good man who did good work for our economy. Yes. He was a good man na hindi nagnakaw sa bayan. Yes. And he was a good man who maintained humility. Yes. So, kung may pagmamahal na kahit konting natitira, kung may konting respeto para kay Noy Noy Aquino, kilala niyo siya eh. Sisiputin niya bawat event. The very fact na wala siya dito today, he's not okay. And maybe now he needs you. And he would never tell you that hindi siya okay. Because lahat niyan, lahat ng bira, lahat ng bato, lahat ng mga kasinungalingan, lahat niya, dinidibdib niya na tahimik lang. But you are getting the sister na hindi tahimik. So sasabihin ko sa kanilang lahat, kung hindi niyo siya tigilan, ako ang makakatapat ninyo. So give the guy a break because he did you no harm. And everybody, lahat kayo na nag-benefit sa kanya, tumayo naman kayo para sa kanya. Mahiya naman kayo sa mga sarili nyo. And pakiusap din sa lahat ng nandito, nakaka-turn off po ang pagiging self-righteous. Kasi di ba, lahat tayo eh, my sins are so public. We all have sins. Let's not cast those stones. Sinabi di ba, the one who has no sin be the one to cast the first stone. So tayo, let's be different. They created a playing field of hatred. Talo tayo dyan because they set the rules. So tayo, ipakita natin kung paano bubuti ang bansa. Ipakita natin na pwede tayong magtulungan. Ipakita natin na pwede tayong umasenso. Ipakita natin na yung perang binabayad, 
dapat may transparency. Sorry po ah, I am not, you all know this. Yes. I made a promise to my mom. I will only enter public service pag handa na akong maging simple. Mahilig pa po sa Chanel. <laughs> so hindi pa pwede. Pero, nagbayad po kami sa customs. Dahil umuwi, merong mga ano, so, missing it, but it was handwritten. It was not a computerized form. So, in my mind, inisip ko, ang laki ng siningil sa akin, pero handwritten ang binigay sa akin. I am not blaming that customs official. Because, in my mind, siguro hindi naman tama talaga ang sweldong natatanggap niya. Pero di ba? We are a Facebook country. Yes. Diba? Lahat tayo nakatutok. Facebook is free. So dapat, I think, kung saan tayo nagbabayad, there should be Facebook Live. Para tayong lahat alam natin saan ba napupunta ang binabayad natin sa gobyerno. Ganun lang yun. I pay millions in taxes. I just want to know, pag binayad ko yan, pag binayad yan sa BIR because now, di ba, it's you pay through the back. But I want to know, BIR, kanino po ba napupunta yan? Let's have transparency. When we have transparency, no questions asked. And lahat tayo, hindi tayo magkakagulo dahil lahat alam. Yung servisyong binayaran mo na dapat mong matanggap, mabibigay sa iyo. Sinoy never trumpeted his achievements. And I hated him for that. Yes. Sorry po, Johanna. <laughs> Kasi feeling ko eh, don't downplay yourself because you did a great job. Yes. And now, wala tayong magamit. Hindi kita magawa ng videos to protect you because hindi mo sinabi sa mga tao point for point lahat ng nagawa mo. Yes! And what's happening now? My brother is not here. He's alone in Times Street. He is not well. Imagine in your picture your life. You did a good job. Hindi ka nagnakaw pero araw-araw lahat na ng pira, lahat na ng pagsisinungaling, tinatanggap mo yon, nakikita mo yon, binabasa mo yon, and yet you remain quiet. Imagine how difficult that life is. So I'm asking all of you now, kung mahal niyo siya, kung may nagawa siyang kabutihan para sa inyo, tumayo naman kayo para sa kanya. Because it's only in speaking the truth that you can combat the lies. And now I'll speak about my dad. That's the whole point then. They want to rewrite history. I'm sorry. While Chris Aquino, who started posting daily on Facebook, has gotten from July 28 up to today, 43.1 million views, and almost 220 million minutes. Where did that first Facebook post come from? You're underestimating me. That first Facebook post came from Ninoy Aquino International Airport. And hindi ko po hina hard sell ang political views ko. I'm just showing you me. And in showing you me, and showing you how I've raised my children, I'm reminding you of my parents. Pinapaalala ko kung ano yung values na binigay sa akin ni Ninoy at Cory Aquino. But I'm doing it in a way na manunood kayo at mag-e-enjoy kayo at makikita nyo, hindi spoiled, hindi entitled, mababait ang anak ko. Yes. And that's how our parents raised us. And I'm not afraid to say sorry. I know I did wrong. I know na napikon talaga ako kay Mark, kaya nag-sorry ako ngayon. <laughs> That's also Noy's fault. Hirap siya mag-sorry. Because he's a man. I'm a woman. And I just ask you please, 
please include him in your prayers because he needs strength. I want a brother who stays healthy, who will be alive, because Ayoko, he's 59. I'm sorry kung nawi-weirdan kayo, but iba yung nine na yan. If you're Chinese, you know. Yes, so please. And my dad died at 50. All of you can start praying. I'm 48. So maybe, because my mom kept saying she's the female Ninoy. So that's why I know every single day I wake up and I'm breathing. That's God's gift. Kaya ine enjoy ko buhay. Nagpapakabute ako sa kapwa. Nagshare ako ng blessings ko. And who knows? Baka umabot sa 2022. Maraming maraming salamat po. God bless you all. And to all of you, maraming salamat sa effort niyo to come here. Just one last, I saw Senator Trillanes here. Just to clarify, he's not our attack dog. I remember this so well. Uh, I was going to get from his security firm uh, a year, June 2015. Noi made me fire his people. Sabi niya, Christina, hindi atin yan. Sorry. <laughs> Derecho lang. So, para alam niyo, total transparency, that's what you're gonna get from Chris. Yun ang sa exact words ni Noy. So, the very next day, Chris obeyed. Goodbye to his people. So, now you know, if my brother said that to me, pwede ipasearch, ito sa text, Noy, never use WhatsApp, Viber, or any of those disappearing messages. Sinabi niya, hindi atin yan, tanggalin mo. Na goodbye. So, please, do not connect, do not make false statements. Let's live by the truth, with the truth, and let's protect the truth. Maraming maraming salamat po.